Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Uh, it, sorry, it, it is your birthday. Yes, but I never know what to reply when people say happy birthday. Been like that all day. <laughs> yes, it is. It's what? Yes, it is my birthday. As well. As well as what? As well as it's your birthday. No, it's your birthday. I know. I just got so bored. Well, I got you um, a little something. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Oh, no, no, it's nothing. No. You really shouldn't have. Nobody else did. They just show up with a bottle of wine, not wrapped, then disappear with it. These are the same people that say, when you grow up, birthdays aren't as important anymore. Not like when you were a kid. Yes, actually, they are. Well, um, uh, well I haven't got you Optimus Prime, if that's what you were thinking. Um. No. Now, it's perfectly alright to say, no presents this year. If you really want to submit, you can just buy it. No. I had that last year at Christmas. I say no. I want some it from someone else. Some it they chose for me. Not the world wrapped in wrapping paper. Just a little thing, that's all. Ah, well, um, uh, uh, it really is nothing. It's, it's just, just uh, something I saw in, in Oxfam. Uh, it's not nothing. It's summit. A big summit. No, really, it's not. It's, it's just the C, 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 CD. <laughs> it's not what it is. It's what it represents. Hear that, everyone. Dan here. No, Dave. Dave. No, no, D Dave. David. Hmm. Has done what none of you freeloaders could do. He came all the way from... Next door. Next door and bought me this. A CD for me. It's uh, Paul Weller. Don't like him. Oh. But the fact that I can't stand Paul Weller and find him tediously overrated and would rather stuff my ears with molten lava while striking myself repeatedly with a large welding mallet than listen to his dad rock drivel is besides the point. This brave Dave, this man, this free thinker, this God, rose it upon himself to challenge your lazy, pathetic, let's just take a bottle and don't bother with this card, attitude. I, I don't have a card. When you meet Dave tonight, I dare you to look him in the eye, see if you can, because not one of you is worthy enough to lick poop from between his magnificent toes. I tell you this, I tell you this, you should bow your heads in shame. <laughs> so, Mingo, <laughs> get a beer, crisps. I don't know if you know anyone. Thanks for the prezi. No, no problem. Did he get a receipt? Radio. You were doing some impressions. Yeah, I like to do impressions. They're oh, a bit addictive. Yeah, are, they, are they predictive or uh, addictive. addictive? I know, because I, I can do a few. <laughs> I do my Bruce Forsyth, the marvellous dear. It's quite old fashioned, and uh, I'm doing it now. Uh, marvellous. Now, we've got some person, contestant tonight who thinks that she can do an impression of various people. You know? Now, I believe you do an impersonation of that lady from Flight of the Con uh, Concords and the Gravity Falls. Uh, famous actress. I know who she is. Nobody else does. Can you do for her now? For now, yeah. That means can you do? The, that means can you do the impression, love? <laughs> it's surprisingly similar how I sound like Kristen Shaw from Bob's Burgers because I was like, I was like the way so it's really quite fantastic. That is just amazing. I'm, She's I'm, my base. That is so cool. That, I that's not. So I know it doesn't really count as news, but the news is is we finally have a decent impression this on this program. News. It's hey? celebrity, celebrity news. news. So a celebrity can be impersonated. Uh, uh, I, I want to say a low. She's not a low. I mean, this is. We're not doing news. There's a news jingle. We should be doing news. The news is that Sue Pollard, apparently from 1981 to 88, Heidi High fame. Apparently, there's a tape of her uh, auditioning for The Godfather, and I think we've just got that here hang on yeah 
I'll put it on. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Okay. Please, Mr. Godfather. I want to be part of your drug cartel. I want to be a yellow course. I want to make you an offer you can't refuse. Well, there you go. That was an exclusive for ones with radio. Me, we are. Oh, blimey, there's a jingle. Who put that jingle here? Who left the jingle here? I think. I think it was our uh, special guest star, Julie Walters. Uh, basically, we wheeled her in because uh, she was a bit cross because she wasn't in the new Harry Potter movie because she's in, she's the mum in the Harry Potter movies, uh, uh, the Weasley mum, uh, but she's not in the the new one, the Fantastical Creatures and Where to Find Them or uh, the Lack of Ethnicity, Where to Find It. It's not a very good... Julie, hello, Mrs. Walters. Hello, how are you? Oh. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Get your hands off my knee, thank you. Um, I, to, and the other one. Um, and the other one. So, uh, Julie, yeah. uh, are you a little bit um, miffed that you're not in? Because I don't think of you as being old. You could be in a prequel, couldn't you? I see it like this. Yes. In the, in the previous Harry Potter films, I did play Mrs. Weasley. That's right. Yeah. And I, I was originally going to play Harry Potter's mother, but they told me, no, Julie, no. No, no well, she dies, doesn't she? In the, she would, you would only well, be... She, yeah, well, she dies, but... Yeah. I, I went, Was that they, a spoiler? They said, no, hmm. no, no, they said to me, they said, Julie... We haven't picked you because you're not a good enough actress. <gasps> I, I was taken back as well. I, I yes. was taken back. Where were you taken back to? Probably the 1970s. Actually, I've got a fascinating story about when uh, I have Alan Bennett. Hmm. And Alan... Um, he was trying to think... You know that film with... Um, a Dame Maggie Smith and there's he, so many you know yeah. she's in more films than you are you realise that I know it's not know. it should be in it's more annoying. Yes. I know yes. it's because she's a good actress it could be that that could be it yeah uh, and basically Alan lovely Alan was yeah. thinking up ideas for um, that film where he does in a van like the lady in a van lady in the van yes yes and I can't quite remember the issue he had but I, I can't remember mm-hmm. oh well could you could you drive a van is that it? But did we you just, need to drive the van? It, but <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say. I mean, uh, if there could be any role that you would like, I mean, we've got cheese and pickle, mm. we've got ham, oh. and uh, but any acting role that you'd like to have been in. I mean, did you ever play Lady Macbeth or Ophelia or oh. um, that lady in Abigail's party? Um, did you? Were, 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 yeah, those sort of strong roles. Anything you really want to get your teeth my, my into? Fa- my favourite role. Yes. Would have, if I had to play that role. Mind the firstly, table. Sorry, yes, yes. Firstly, I didn't know that they had a catering van. No one told Julie. No one tells Julie anything. They don't. Mm-hmm. No. And my my top role to play before we go. The top role I'd love to have. Yes. Would be in. She's thinking. I can see her face. The wheel's going round. Go on, Judy. You can do it. I, I would love a role in... In? Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. That is being remade with a female cast. Oh, I so I think it's that. already been cast, so you could be in Ocean's Twelve. Oh. So there you go. Well, thank you so much, Judy Waters, for coming along. Thank you. The door's over there. Can you? No, that way. Care, careful, Judy. Oh, t- t- that, that way. I can't tell. You've got Jim Broadbent in the cupboard. How did he get in I'm there? I'm sorry. He gets everywhere, doesn't he? So, oh, your old Jim friend. <laughs> oh, is that Jim Bo- Hello, Jim Broadbent. <laughs> uh, that, that, that very, very go briefly. away, Jim. Yes, go away, Jim. That was very good. That was very good. Uh, that was, that was Julie Waters doing an impersonation of Jim Broadbent in a cupboard. So, as you know, G- Julie Waters is an amazing actress. Better than you, Rebecca. Sorry to knock you, Rebecca. I think Julie Waters That's is better right. than you. Is that all right? Yes, yeah, fine. You yeah. sure?